Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to season four of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. And I know you're like, wait, where is everything? What's going on? Uh, I'm cleaning up and I'm obviously packing my stuff up and I figured, you know what? Since I do need to pack these things away, let's go ahead and talk about some toys for maybe the next episode or two. And uh, and so for the first one, we're going to start off with Funko Pops. So there are some Venom Funko Pops that have been coming out over the past few months and then ones that came out recently that are based on the Maximum Venom cartoon show. So I figured I would show off just kind of the small collection that I've accumulated since the beginning of the year. Um, so there are some in here that are just Venom Funko Pops like uh, this one here. This is a box lunch exclusive. This is a Thanos glow in the dark. Funko Pop and it's like regular size and it came in this box here it was part of uh the uh you know like a, like I said it's a box lunch exclusive so it has this cool t-shirt with it that has this image on it and uh yeah I loved it I was like well you know what I'm trying to you know I donated a bunch of clothes recently and I'm down to like less than 20 shirts and I said you know it'd be really cool is just to have a bunch of Venom shirts now <laughs> and uh, and so I, I bought some at Hot Topic and then when I saw this I was like oh this comes with a Thanos Venom shirt even better. So yeah, I picked this up and it was pretty cool because it came with a free one. They had some promotion going on that day where for buying this, I got another Funko Pop for free. So I'll show you which character I got here in a second. Uh, but yeah, if you pick this up, you can go get it. It depends on when you're watching this video, but if you're watching it now in March of 2020, you can go pick this up, you know, at your local box lunch uh, if you have one, or you can pick it up at boxlunch.com, I believe. But yeah, it's a really cool figure and I think he looks awesome. Actually, the, the Thanos Venom is really cool. And this, there was a Thanos Venom or a Poison Venom and one of the storylines uh, Venomized, I think. So, uh, so yeah, that's a, it's pretty cool, you know, looking version of the character of Thanos. Uh, but like I said, I got a free character. I was able to pick up a free character, so I got this Captain Marvel Venom uh, with it as well. So yeah, she's pretty awesome. I mean, I like I love the Mohawk stuff. I love Storm. I have a, a Venomized Storm, as you guys have seen before. And uh, I love her mohawk. So to have like another, you know, white mohawk in the set, I was like, all right, cool. I could rock that. Uh, so, yeah, this is Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Uh, Captain Marvel. And I guess this and this is from the Maximum Venom cartoon. So, like I said, there are two sets out there. Uh, there's this set where, you know, she comes from. And then the set where Thanos comes from, it actually has this label on it. It just says Venom. And this is another Hot Topic exclusive, which I'll put up here now, which is the Green Goblin. Um, he is awesome. A, a venomized green goblin. His board looks great. His face looks great. And I like that it didn't change his colors. They kept them purple and green, uh, which is really cool because I know there's like the, you know, the, the need or want to make it, you know, more black or whatever like they do with Thanos. And I kind of like that they kept his original colors there, but they made his board black with the venom face on it, which looks really awesome. So yeah, anyway, so he was a Hot Topic exclusive, but him and Thanos come from this line here that just says Venom. So that's not part of the Maximum Venom series, so be on the lookout for that. Another one, my last one here I'll talk about, which is from the uh, Just the Venom line, is a Venomized Punisher, which looks really cool. And there was a brief moment where the suit, uh, the suit, you know, the Venom symbiote kind of bonded with Punisher, and that's in a comic book that we have talked about on the show before, but we're going to mention again coming up because the artist who drew it uh, tragically passed away recently, and I was a huge fan of his, so I figured we'll, you know, discuss the Funeral Pyre miniseries um, coming up here very soon again. So uh, yeah, so that's Punisher with the Venomized costume. So, you know, him and Thanos and uh, the Goblin here. And I think Groot, uh, there's a couple other ones. Let's see on the back of the box. Uh, we have, yeah, there's Groot, there's Storm, Daredevil. So a lot of these I have. The Ultron one, I just didn't like how he looked. He just looked a little silly. Um, the, the Rocket Raccoon one, and eh, maybe I'll pick that up in the Groot one at a later time, but uh, but I have all the other ones. And uh, yeah, so it was cool to get this Goblin one and add it to the collection. But the main ones we're here to talk about actually are from this series, which is uh, the Maximum Venom cartoon series. And uh, there's four in the set so far. There is a fifth one um, we'll talk about here in a second, but there's uh, Captain Marvel. We have Miles Morales. We have Groot. And Doctor Strange, those are all part of this series. There's also a Spider-Man one, and we'll talk about him in a minute, but I'll try to flash an image there for you so you can kind of see what he looks like. And I think he's some kind of exclusive somewhere. I haven't seen him anywhere. I think he might be Walgreens. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I couldn't find him anywhere, so uh, I don't know if he's been released yet or not. 
So uh, the other figures in the set, though, here we go. We have uh, Dr. Stephen Strange as a Venom, and he looks awesome. His little mustache uh, twirls, uh, and then he's got this cool goatee. Um, so, yeah, and these are just things I'm going to you know put together. I really wanted to, when I moved to my new place, have a really awesome-looking Venom collection. I see so many people online put up their Resident Evil collections and their Superman collections and, you know, everything they're a fan of, you know, My, my Hero Academia, and I see all these amazing-looking collections, and I said, you know, I've never really got a chance to do that since living in my first apartment out here when I lived alone. Now I can when I move to Florida because I'm going to try to, you know, get my own place again and I'll just go full out crazy decorating it with Venom stuff. So, uh, so yeah, you guys are going to love what's coming up. Um, another figure in the series is Venomized Baby Groot because last time they did kind of like, you know, teenager or adult Groot and now this is Baby Groot and he looks awesome and they put little Venus fly traps. These, the artwork that is kind of used for the show is by a guy named Patrick Brown. And we might do an episode on his artwork because I think it's amazing. I'll, I'll put a, a flash his uh, you know, name there on Instagram if you want to follow him. But we might talk about his art in an upcoming video to promote the Maximum Venom show because his art's amazing. And I heard that the animation style for the show has changed a bit to kind of fit closer to his style than what we've seen in previous seasons so i think that's amazing too that's very awesome that you know that they did that and kind of changed that up um so yeah we'll talk more about that but he's got little venus fly traps on him and that was stuff that i saw patrick brown uh the artist talking about on his instagram which is really cool uh then we have here miles morales who looks great i love the like the tear there or it's like more the the symbiote is still dripping down on him uh, but it's keeping one eye exposed he looks awesome i kind of wish he became like a spider carnage uh, because i just love that spider carnage character from when ben riley was spider carnage but still i mean miles looks fantastic i, I love his look um so those are the four main ones you know like i said captain marvel groot Doctor Strange and Miles. Those are the four main ones. And then those there's going to be a Spider-Man one. I think it'll come out soon. It's going to look a lot like this. So these are the mini Funko Pops. These are in mystery boxes. And again, they say Maximum Venom on them. So if you're looking out there and you just want Maximum Venom stuff, uh, you know, make sure you have that logo on it. And this is Spider-Man. I saw a lot of people complaining, why is he in a white suit? That doesn't make any sense. You know, why, why, you know, why doesn't he have the black costume? You know, it, the black costume is perfect. Why'd they change it? Um... You know, again, you have to watch the show. And if you're not watching the show, because I saw a lot of people saying, oh, I don't like the show. Um, I haven't, you know, I watched a couple episodes and I'm not going to give it a chance. Well, that's why you don't know what's going on. So let me explain to you. Uh, this is not Venom bonded to Spider-Man uh, in the storyline for, you know, the upcoming season. So, you know, there's a Spider-Man cartoon that's been out there called Marvel's Spider-Man. Um, and it's on Disney XD. They've done two seasons so far. They introduced Eddie Brock in season two. Of course, well after that, oh, you know, they already introduced the symbiote and kind of where the symbiote came from on Guardians of the Galaxy. They showed the Clintar planet and they showed, um, you know, Venom has been on Earth for a while and has diff had different hosts and stuff. Now it's, you know, bonded to Eddie Brock and it is basically kind of like Planet of the Symbiotes done this war cry or this, you know, sympathetic cry. And the universe, like there's a chunk of uh, Clintar that after Clintar was exploded and destroyed by the Guardians, kind of, um, you know, the, there's a chunk full of symbiotes and they're heading towards Earth. And so that's what's happening. So all these characters are not bonded with by Venom, even though they're called Venomized versions, you know, of, of Doctor Strange and, and Groot and stuff. These aren't Venom. These are other symbiotes. So Spider-Man has like a white symbiote that bonds with them. So that's why. And he, if you're like, hey, why don't they do the black costume? They already have in the show. <laughs> so this is just them trying to differentiate. So again, when I see people like complain about stuff, it always come from a place where they don't know. And it's like, well, why don't you do a little bit of research before you get mad about something? Not saying you have to watch the show if you already watched it a couple times and don't like it but uh you know still do a little bit of research <laughs> people just get so mad and it's like well there's an, a, an answer to that thing that you're mad at uh you know so anyway that's the answer that's why he's not you know it, he's white is because it's a different symbiote it's not the venom symbiote bonded with him um i also did get a mini version of thanos which is pretty cool um and then i got in the mystery boxes a, a miniaturized version of captain marvel so we have her there, Carol Danvers, and she's got like energy things on her hands, which look really cool. So we have her there. Um, then we also got a minimized version or <laughs> yeah, exactly. Minimized version of, uh, you know, Deadpool here. And this is uh, or Venom pool, I guess. And he's eating a taco, which looks awesome. His like tongue's coming out and grabbing this taco. It's so funny. 
Oh, yeah. He's awesome. So I was glad to get him. I was like, hey, that's cool because we've covered the Venom Pool stuff in the comics and, and everything. And I really dug that. Um, this was a gift. We saw me do this in my live, uh, you know, unboxing when I opened one of these. Uh, or I didn't open it this one live. I opened some of these live. But this one was a gift. You probably saw it on my Instagram. Um, there was this, uh, this great these great people, um, Jonas and his mom. They've been coming to the Lego store for years. And they got me a going away gift. And they bought me a mystery box. And when I opened it, it was Loki. And he's like a rare one. He's like a 1 in 24 or something. Um, so when I showed this to my brother who collects Funko Pops, he was really mad. He's like, you don't even collect Funko Pops. You're just buying the Venom ones. You don't deserve that one. And I'm like, yes, I do. I'm a Venom fan. <laughs> and it was a gift. So, uh, so yeah, thank you, Jonas and, and your mom if for, you know, picking a really good box. I mean, that's amazing uh, that we got something rare in there, you know, like Loki. Um, then the last three we have, I have the Avengers here, like, you know, three of the main Avengers. We have Captain America. And uh, so he looks really awesome. They do this thing with the shield. And you're going to see, because we're going to do another episode coming up here where I talk about the Titan Heroes figures. Uh, we're going to record all that tonight because I need to record all these videos for the toys so I can box them all up because these are the last things I need to box, uh, you know, box up in my room before I, I move to Florida. So, so that's why we're doing these videos tonight. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Um, then we also have the Hulk which looks really awesome. And Hulk has been Venomized before. I know people are like, oh, the Absolute Carnage comic. But I think there was a, an episode of uh, Hulk uh, Agents of Smash, which was like a cartoon that was based on the Hulk. And it kind of ties into the continuity of, you know, the different Spider-Man shows. And uh, he was, you know, Hulk got Venomized in an episode of that too, I believe. So, um, so yeah, not a, not a new concept, uh, even in Absolute Carnage, it wasn't a new concept, um, but still it was, uh, it's still a cool concept. I mean, I, I, anytime seeing Hulk, you know, merge with uh, Venom is, is pretty neat. He just like, and I love the colors black and green because they're Green Lantern colors. So seeing them mixed together on Hulk is, is really nice. So yeah, we have that one. And then we also have Iron Man, who looks a lot like War Machine when he's, you know, all black and stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he looks really cool. I know War Machine's more gray, but uh, some of the figures, just the designs of him. But I like he's kind of got like an Iron Maiden mask. He's got these spikes sticking out of him, too, which is really neat, the design. And he's got his, uh, you know, arc reactor chest still there, even though the uh, symbiote symbol is around it. So that's kind of my Funko Pop collection that I got for Venom. I mean, obviously, I collected all the first series ones, and we made a video about that a while back. Um, I really don't collect a ton of Funko Pops, but again, I'm just looking for fun things to kind of fill this Venom section that I'm going to make in my new apartment because I'm going to put in these cool new shelves with like pipes and things like that. It's going to look really neat, very industrial looking. And uh, and I was like, wow, this is going to look cool, like sprinkling these characters all over it and then mixing in action figures in between. So let me know what you think. Do you buy any of these? I'm probably not going to get any more because the mystery boxes, I'm only missing like three figures of the series now. And it's like Black Panther and a couple other ones. And I kind of don't want to risk getting, you know, triples and quadruples of some of these characters. So this is my the end of my collection for now. But if that one Spider-Man, like the big version of him if that comes out sometime soon i'll probably buy that one and add it to this collection so i can have all of the you know regular size maximum venom figures but these are out there they're in stores now you can get them at hot topics gamestop box lunch um i think walmart uh, has like the the you know mystery boxes and stuff as well as target and gamestop so yeah you can pick them up anywhere maybe target doesn't have them but uh, maybe Walmart and GameStop too. But yeah, you can find them. Check out the Funko website and it'll give you all the information for where you can find these things. Uh, but let me know what you think. And if you have any of these or part of your collection, let me know what those are down in the comments below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.